All right, I think we are rolling. Oh, fuck me, Jerry. Don't do real <laughs> sex voice, only do baby voice sexually. <laughs> no, Welcome to It's Just Bits, where this voice is a staple from now on. It's not. I'm not even finishing the sentence. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we got a fuck ton of views on our last episode, and it was both inflammatory. Because you guys are nasty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it was just baby voice and calls for revolution. And that was the whole... <laughs> By the way, we have to start this on a song somber note because on the 6th the capital was stormed by a group of our listeners after i told them to buy a gun and get these motherfuckers i should have been more specific no 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 they're not our li- listeners they were just on the antifa website they weren't actually antifa <laughs> well uh yeah, good good try guys i mean <laughs> you, i this is, I'm assuming that all of the people there were there because i told them to be there this we caused this i caused this <laughs> When was the podcast? The podcast, uh, God, I hope it wasn't released on the 6th, because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's released at noon on the 6th, and by 6 o'clock, people are in the But line. someone's been shot. <laughs> There's, uh, she died, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody posted her name at whatever the fuck it is, and then say her name, and I lost <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Laren uh, tweeted, right in the language of the unheard. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, guys, next time... Cut out the fascist shit and, uh, you know. I mean, that's actually, really the big note. Do everything the same. Just don't be fascist this time. Yeah. Storm <laughs> storm the capital. good. Blood and soil, bad. <laughs> like, you guys were yelling at the cap. You, you literally stormed the capital to be like, I want you to oppress us more. Right, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, like, it's like Bastille Day if they were storming the Bastille so the king would continue to take that stuff. <laughs> like, hey, hey, I heard somebody was going to come in here and give us stuff. I would like to. <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to that. There, there's a lot of people that are being like, whoa, now suddenly the left hates rioting. Even though, like, <laughs> no, I'm still I, it's still dope to storm the Capitol. No, I'm yeah. bummed about who did it. I support the fact that people broke into the Capitol. I just wish they had better ideals. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, also, and it, also, it still sucks that that lady got shot. And also, just so we're clear, if you're on the right, you weren't mad that there were riots. You were mad that black people still exist. <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> They're like, damn it, black people are still around? Huh. The, a lot of they're destroying their own neighborhoods, and by they, they mean black people. <laughs> and the, an increasing number of them will admit to it, which is good. <laughs> anyway, Trump's going to be gone in a few days, and none of this will have happened. It's not a few days. It's longer. It's like a week. Two weeks? Know. A fortnight. He's going to be gone in a fortnight. Oh, God. <laughs> um, f- uh, flossing on the grave of democracy. <laughs> oh, God. I remember I saw this tweet that was like uh, somebody was talking about how like things that used to be super cool in the 80s, how uh, brands got on board with them at and some point. Now they're not. And now like yeet is something that Capri Sun says or whatever the fuck. Gotta stop saying yeet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, it was just made as a Simpsons meme where it was like, and it's going to happen to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it oh, is. <laughs> Damn you, Abe uh, Simpson. Eat spicy goodness like a boss. You're familiar with that, right? <laughs> what? No way. The Wendy's commercial. Oof. <laughs> where, yeah. He's oh, like, God, they're going to take oof, too. No. <laughs> they're going to take oof. They probably are. Which will be a big oof. A big oof is probably already an old people thing. If we're being big honest. Oof, big oofy old people, yeah. Cool. I'm, I still remember the Roblox. Ooh! <laughs> the word cool used to be like a trendy thing to say. And now it's just like vernacular. It's just... Right. Like, I, I tell my boss cool when he's like, spend more of your day and at work. And that's perfectly okay. Right. And, the, <laughs> and, and, it's, not, like, and it's not because my boss wears circular glasses and turtlenecks. He's like a regular guy. <laughs> yeah. That's just good. You know what? The hippies got one thing right besides getting shot by cops all the time. They <laughs> means you're doing something got good. Got cool into like just comp. People just fucking say that. Nobody says grass. So nice try, you fucking carpet munching fag. Why does no one say grass anymore? <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Uh, or reefer. Uh, those. I don't know. One of them is endangered, and the other is your lawn. Like so. weed doesn't sound cool to say. Yeah. There, weed is barely a, a slang thing anymore. It's I just what it's it just is. The word. Yeah. It's like how dick is what it is. Penis <laughs> is the scientific term for a dick. Dick but isn't slang for dick. penis. <laughs> Cock, if you want to feel, you know, Australian or something. I don't know. Cock feels 
like more explicitly sexual, so it's either dirty Did talk I or trying cock? too hard. <laughs> it's there's no It sounds like cuck. <laughs> in cock? Australian cack. <laughs> Can I cack? I fucked your wife, mate. Uh it's weird that uh there's I no your wife cock. <laughs> Wait, you Oi, fucked mate. my wife's cock? Or you... <laughs> I took your wife's thong off, and I don't mean a fucking sandals. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's got it. Oh, God, we need... I penetrated your wife like a stingray into Steve, Win- Steve Aaron's heart. <laughs> I almost said Steve Martin. <laughs> Whichever Steve, doesn't matter. <laughs> I fucked your All wife. Right, mate, now, you, now you're kind of doing a, a, different, a different thing, mate. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be worried. Ah, oh, God damn it. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked your wife, mate. <laughs> Is that autistic Australian? <laughs> no, that's you trying to do it oh, in Australia. Good. So, yes. <laughs> hey, I'm, I try my best. <laughs> you know it's a good character? Is it's, not, yeah. it's clearly not our character, but Eastern European guy who pronounces, like, just uses not quite the right words. <laughs> so, like, oh, yes, we are going to go to the local bar and have a jar of, of cider. <laughs> <laughs> I measure everything in fangools. What are they? I do not know. <laughs> is based on moose. <laughs> it makes just as much sense as your non-metric system. Because <laughs> it does. Hey, hey, we are going to go to the mall and get a clothing for our girls. <laughs> for our ladies. <laughs> oh. I can't for wait the for women's. the end of the week for party times. <laughs> Thank this is just like Sarajevo. <laughs> Thank goodness it is last day of work. <laughs> just colloquial phrases, but said through the guise of the European man. <laughs> hey, what, what is up, friend? It is humping day. <laughs> a watched pot never reaches 100 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> Working very toughly or not much working? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. These are just the guys that did Dragon's Dead and Tech. What are more colloquial phrases? (laughs) It's That's the thing about improv is you can remember everything but the thing that you want to be saying. (laughs) (laughs) I will catch on to you later. (laughs) Work many hours and you will get good profession. <laughs> Have wardrobe of job you aspire. <laughs> this is dangerous with close to just doing Borat. <laughs> no, no, we're Eastern European. It's a clear distinction. <laughs> Not- He's slumming it. This guy is wearing... All of the nicest clothes, but from 1980. Yes. <laughs> well, no, not that would be cool now. He's wearing the nicest oh. clothes from 2003. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> he is dressed exactly like Limp Biscuit wanted to be dressed, but <laughs> could not pull off. The the rich kid in your high school, if you're like 10 years older than us. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> Which, by the way, stop listening to us. You <laughs> are an adult. Ah, oh, so are we. You will be fired. <laughs> These, I'm your boss now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Nestle overtakes some giant corporation. And you're like, Nestle is that kind of money, and they do. Like they do. Nestle bought Nutella, and everybody was like, Nestle's doing well. And well, you like, think yeah, of Nestle is every- like Nesquik, but they're also water, water. <laughs> <laughs> which which you're can be right. owned for some reason. You weirdos. Well, thank God that. Uh, not corporations own public water and energy and whatnot, which is like, I, I don't... Which is going to change. Oh, God. But, yeah, because people are like, well, it's not profitable. And we're like, but it's not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you understand it's a service, right? Right. We're the d- bus doesn't make money. It shouldn't. <laughs> Imagine a society where we did things because people wanted them and not because it made money. Not even wanted. Needed. Or needed, people yeah. need water and electricity and stuff. No, but we should do that with everything, like, you know... Dude, I can't like, they wait. shouldn't make six different flavors of toothbrush. I disagree on that part. <laughs> I want... Uh, yeah, you're not using them right, though. <laughs> I want a wall of toothbrushes in every Walgreens. That's what freedom is. <laughs> yeah, no, but there are, like, six things that the government should control. And right now they control three things, and they're doing a shit job. So I get it when Republicans <laughs> are like, yeah, we shouldn't fucking trust the government and i'm like don't but well, also the people you keep making the government is <laughs> yeah. part of the problem but somehow we managed to get water and power down pat so fucking let's copy that model <laughs> i also don't think the government should do it but that's just it's but it's better thing. than corporations doing it because i yeah. pay a hundred dollars for internet and i pay thirty dollars for electricity and electricity powers the fucking internet so (laughs) 
Just make it a guess here. Internet could be cheaper than $100 a month. Oh, internet should be a utility. <laughs> yeah. Internet, fucking, the roads should... Somebody else just needs to manage the roads. The roads, like, whoever... Well, they got they got to start using some of the cop money on roads. In fact, all of the cop money. Well, I think it's because states manage the roads. I think it should be federal. Because federal seems like they're all right. Because ComEd is federal and water is federal. I think it's ComEd, federal. It's, I think they're a company. They're a company owned, like... They they're fucking tied to the government somehow. I can't remember for the life of me. This it's, system's great. <laughs> it's like Comed was a monopoly, and then the government was like, "You can't do that." And Comed's like, "But you can't stop us." And then the government's <laughs> like, "Well, we pretty much own you now." They should, by the way, do that to <laughs> Facebook and Twitter and Amazon and banks. Uh, Facebook and Twitter can be their own thing. That's fine. No, no. It's but it, by the way, it's bad that Trump got banned from Twitter. Yeah, no. Because I want to see what he has to say all the time. Also, like, don't ban the president, man. That's dumb. Well, there. I just saw a tweet from Robert Evans, that not that one, the one I like, uh, that was like, uh, yeah, he still has nukes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But also, yeah, like, like, I don't want Mark Zuckerberg and at Jack to be deciding to who be has the speech. Guy, yeah, no, don't fucking do that. Eat a deck, dude. He shouldn't have got banned. That's dumb. And it, it's like, he, well, I'm not going to platform the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like they're going to see him another way. No the, it's a that. real catch 22 because Trump getting banned from Twitter made him do something very funny, I guarantee you. Oh my God. Yeah. That, uh, okay. Yeah. Ban the president, but just for like the dumbest reasons every once in a while, just so we can have a laugh. But <laughs> well, I, when on left Twitter, when you get banned for like saying um, pure, purely uh, humorous things about the police. Then usually you just text your friend and they tweet it for you. Obviously jests. <laughs> yeah, je yeah, jests. It take off your vest. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> again, that guys, was, stop the Nazi shit, but you're in the right track. <laughs> we stumbled onto just a great bit there. <laughs> jests take off. Yeah, what, what, what would that bit be like? No, 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 just like just that, that, just that. That was hilarious. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We did good. You did good. We done good, folks. Uh, prison industrial complex. Uh, but the president, I did hey. just see a tweet, has, um, he can just text you. He mm -hmm. can text everybody in America. Oh my God, he totally can. Please, I... Mr. President, send your thoughts to my phone. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I want to see how much par Parler membership went up. At oh, their yeah. Twitter, the second Twitter band of I bet they got like 100,000. <laughs> I have a Parler account. I should go search really? some pots. Why? To fuck with them. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll just go on there and be like, for I'll say like, I think Ted Cruz has a lizard for a dick, and he fucked your mom with it, and they'll be like, probably, that's what that is. <laughs> I bet, I know that le the left's echo chamber is fucking bad. I understand that it's rough, but the right's is... They've got the guns. <laughs> First of all, the left does not have a le an echo chamber. No two leftists have ever agreed on anything, ever. <laughs> You're thinking of Tumblr. And they're very nice and just let the kids have fun with their gender. <laughs> it's like remember back in the day when our kids our parents were cool <laughs> enough to be like yeah you can choose your own haircut i don't care well now that's gender <laughs> you can choose your own gender it's weird that that became like such a thing on the right and left because it's like mm -hmm. just if you think it's weird just be like i don't know just everyone's an asshole <laughs> Yeah, that's You're, you, it's possible to be like, that's weird. I don't understand it. I'm not going to make a big fucking thing about it, though. The thing that always gets me is, like, what age do you start giving him hormone blockers or stuff? And stuff. I mean... Because I know there are... At all children immediately. <laughs> Gender is over. Everybody's an amorphous blob. <laughs> Storm the Capitol, inject your representative with hormone blockers, <laughs> so they become, like, uh, the uh, mascot for Greendale Community College. <laughs> oh, dude, have you like seeing trump or biden standing without a podium it's fucking hilarious trump's the the phrase that i keep seeing attached to it is standing technique <laughs> the way trump stands is amazing he's a like good a, 10 degree grade on that he's man. like a minotaur without the fucking horse part it's, <laughs> it's wild i don't i don't know how he does it <laughs> it's not okay i don't his body shouldn't be strong enough to sustain that level of potential energy and joe biden's just wobbly <laughs> he's a wobbly guy. Yeah, he's an unraveling mummy. I someone tweeted a 
if they impeach Trump, we might have four presidents in a year because it would go Trump to Pence and then Biden would like slip on melted ice cream <laughs> and his skin would fall off and then Kamala would be president. <laughs> that would be actually the best case scenario. <laughs> No, oh, that would be the best for me. I would have I would have much fun with that. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, make a bunch of jokes about that at all. God damn it! No, God. I would be I would be very sad if Joe Biden uh, like ran into a cliff because someone painted a tunnel on it, <laughs> or if a big piano a fell on his head and his teeth turned into piano keys. That would make me sad that he was dead. A tunnel and then a seven year old girl on the other side. <laughs> and everybody's like, D- How are you going to vote a pedophile into office? And I'm like, Well, sometimes a pedophile is better than Trump, you know? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just. God, I'm sad he's off Twitter. I want him to be on Twitter. Biden? No, I assume he's on Twitter tweeting oh, no, about. Trump's back on Twitter. No, he's not. He had a 12 hour ban. Oh, no, he's kicked. No fucking for, way. That's no. That's what I want to see him react to is that he can never be on Twitter again. Oh my god! For real? Yeah. Bold. The, which is what's going to happen is now there's just going to be everybody's just going to be on t- parlor. Or there's going to be two completely parallel media realms. Oh well, yeah. Because like one where intersect. Trump is still president, but the pedophiles have taken the government from him, <laughs> and one where me and my dad argue about whether Biden. Uh, should be made to run into a tunnel cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see the argument, because there's going to be an argument for a while that's just like, maybe we just let the fucking Republicans believe that Trump's still president. You know, he, yes. he won't be. Don't give him any power. Just give him a box give with him, buttons painted on Give him a busy it. box. Build. <laughs> it can be made of cardboard. Build him a fake Oval Office. <laughs> let him be on Twitter. Tell him his decisions matter. And let me watch. <laughs> And then, and then everybody will be like, yeah, look, he just signed a law that abortions are now fucking mandatory, but only if you're a man who transitioned into a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody will be like, yep, he definitely did that. Wink. <laughs> I and am feeling better about my vote for Biden because I was briefly sad that a, that a, a, a dying old man wasn't going to be the president anymore. But he is still. We got a different dying old man who hopefully will talk more about how black people love his leg hair. He, I love that he's just the dad from Get Out. I <laughs> do. It is pretty great. Except I, he could not oh, perform the procedure because the papery skin on his fingers is going to rub off because he's quivering. No, every time he gets called a racist, they have to like physically hold him back from getting on Twitter and being like, I have a black friend, and you <laughs> I know mean, have you who heard he the recording is? of people are like, like, gently suggesting, can you do some progressive stuff? And he's like, hey, listen, Jack, I'm the only white person that's good. Fuck you. <laughs> I, yeah, he's immediately been like, well, I mean, are they really cages? <laughs> it was like the, the second he got elected was the first thing he but, fucking said. And I'm like, neat. I don't, Tell me again how Bernie's too radical. <laughs> Just one more time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go insane. Uh, deep spiritual anguish. But it, but Biden's very funny. <laughs> it's very funny how angry he is at everyone. Like oh, everyone, people will here. gently question him about something, oh my God. and he'll be like, "I'm, I'm going to fucking kill you. Get over here. I'm going to bite your neck." <laughs> Remember why, 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 why? No. Someone said something like, "You know, why don't you agree with Bernie about this?" And he like just got in the woman's face like, "Why, why, 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 why?" <laughs> Yes. Someone said, "Hey, are you gonna have progressive immigration policies?" And he said, "You should vote for Trump." Uh, what? Yeah, someone at a, at, like, he said, he probably said something like, I, listen, Jack, when you're trying to, you gotta respect, I like, I like tacos, bucko, uh, and which translates to, I'm not going to abolish ICE, and someone was like, hey, you should do that, ICE is bad and does bad things to people of color, which your party claims to care about, and he was like, you should vote for Trump. <laughs> Good. Well, at least they're being honest. <laughs> He is. Biden is. He can't not. It sucks that the Democrats are going to manage him better than Republicans manage Trump. Just please give me a direct line to the dying old man brain. I think that I think he does need he he needs handlers. (coughs) Like he doesn't know how Twitter works, which is sad because Trump would be like shitting and sending tweets to the country, which is the right way to do it. Yeah, that's Twitter. Every time you take a dump, have a good thought. Right there. there no, I, 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 Trump is a kindred spirit of mine in that he's an absolute idiot who will never take good advice and likes to yell a lot. 
if you make all the wrong steps from now until whatever age he is, you could be Trump. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, in the same way that, like, I'm glad they stormed the Capitol, but bad ideas. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm like, you know, Gandalf to their Saruman. Mm-hmm. I definitely do see how, like, aggressive Republicans can get to where they fucking got, like, never questioning anything. Because I see a lot of people on the left who have never questioned that. <laughs> like, a lot of Democrats have just been like... That's not the fucking left. Whatever it is. I'm the left the and word, I hate them and they hate me. Whatever the word is. A lot of Democratic people who's like, well, yeah, just do... Just... Uh, whatever. <laughs> and it's like, well, if you thought for two seconds, then no, not Ta- <laughs> Talking to someone who actually likes Biden about how oh, he yeah. definitely raped someone is the same as talking to a Trump supporter <laughs> about how he definitely raped it's someone. It's like... I, Literally, the whole when I was talking to a hardcore Biden guy or a hardcore Trump guy, my answer would always be like, "Listen, they both suck fucking ass," and then he'll be like, "Well, that's better than you liking Biden or Trump or whatever." The <laughs> there's like, at least you don't like that, and I'm like, "No, you see the problem? <laughs> How do they? You- they both think that their dying old man." Definitely isn't racist, and definitely didn't finger someone without asking, what, and they both did. What year was Biden born? What year? I, 18 fuck off. I don't <laughs> care. I don't know. It was, it, it, was it the 40s? Was it near World War II? It, it, I, it had I to so. be close. What, he's in his 80s, I how think. How old is he? He's 70 something. Okay, Google, how old is Joe Biden? Oh, Son of a bitch. There's no internet right now. Trump took the internet from us. Yeah, just this area. He please, to- Mr. Trump, sir, give us the internet back and be on it and. Say insane things. And please die. Are, you, didn't you say oh. you were going to die of coronavirus and then you didn't, asshole? Yeah, that's some bullshit. He was born in 1942. <laughs> he makes the decisions for a lot of the world. He was born on fucking Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Hawaii and Alaska weren't states. Really? <laughs> no fucking way. No, I, think- I know Hawaii wasn't a state when Pearl Harbor was bombed, which was 1942 or 41. Um, when did Alaska become a state? I thought it was after Hawaii, but... You weren't a lie. And fucking <sighs> people who are in their, like, 60s or so will be like, you just don't understand the world yet. And I'm like, no, you fucking... <laughs> you definitely understand the world the way it was in 1940. You've got that pat. You learned to fight the last war just in time for the next war. Yes. But history doesn't repeat itself, and n- nothing means anything when your point. Well, yes, it does. This is interwar Germany. <laughs> and baby, I'm Rosa Luxemburg. Please don't kill me, government. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he was born in 1942. Alaska became a state in 1959. <laughs> How old was he when Alaska became a state? He was 17. He remembers it. He remembers when Alaska became a state. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, and is... so does everybody who's in oh. charge of your life. Okay, he was 17 and Trump was 14. Which 14 year old? Which ma- I don't think they should guy. have had sex. That's too big of an age difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He, Alaska, Young Joe Biden was kind of hot though. Alaska well, we can tell by Hunter Biden he was a cool oh, fucking god. guy. Hunter Biden. Great guy. <laughs> oh, so cool. Big fan. I love how all the all the Republicans are like, "Well, you can't uh, consciously vote for him because he did cocaine." And I'm like, "Fucking, so did you." He did Just... cocaine and got a foot job. <laughs> He's a fucking king. Also, you did all of those things, and I guarantee it. <laughs> even the most buttoned down. And if Republican you didn't, you're man, not as cool. Even the most buttoned down Republican thing, a man. Maybe you didn't do that with your wife. <laughs> you did that with a prostitute. Well, yeah, but in, in like the, in the Renaissance, like every pope fucked his daughter. So. <laughs> All the, all the people in charge of Republicans are like, I mean, they're fucking their pool boys. That one guy, Matt Gates. No, that's not who fucked a pool boy. One of the Republicans, I forget which one, definitely fucked and watched his wife get fucked by his pool boy, Whoa. which I support. And uh, no, yeah, actually, I mean, what are you? You're giving an illegal immigrant a job, good, and, and a <laughs> hand job. Whoa. Uh, uh, but then, and then Matt Gates like a- adopted a Cuban boy to fuck i say boy he's grown but you know younger than matt gates well, he met a man in cuba i don't think he went to cuba i think he oh he bought it i person. i think he found like the back of a book where it says please check off which of the sequels which you'd like and we'll mail them to you is 
what you should start doing, by the way. I I will always say. I you know you think I should get a mail order ride. My fucking dad said that the other day. No way. He wasn't as serious as you. <laughs> Dude, you should though. It'd be awesome. I, <laughs> You'd have the best. I I know so many. people I don't need to learn ride. the word disappointing in Russian. Do you okay? know that I I my nanny was. A You're gonna order? let that slide. That was a very funny thing I just said. <laughs> Whatever. Keep That's talking. Good. My nanny was a mail order bride. Not to my parents, to somebody else who got a job. <laughs> and, then, I, <laughs> and then so was um, one of my best friends. Friends, I guess. I don't know how to describe the dude. But he had a mail-order Filipino bride. It was It's wild. Yeah, it's wild. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no way he went to Phil- the Philippines and met her. He's tra- like white trap. Like <laughs> his car's worth $800. How how much do these women cost? Well, it's, he spent all of his money. <laughs> well, no, because they want... The Philippines ain't great, so they're like, this will be better. I want one with a strong back that can make textiles for me. You want European. <laughs> Get yourself a Polish this girl. Is, this, is, this is the issue. If I were to purchase a woman, it would be as a, as a slave and not a sex slave. It would be to make me money. <laughs> I would make a sweatshop in my apartment, and I would I would do what Frank from Ole Sunny does, which is a reference you don't get. Which to be I, clear, folks, uh, pro slavery. I would never. I would never be the customer of a sex worker. I would own a slave. No, be the customer of a sex worker. Just don't make sure it's there. It's consensual. It's not. I'm a not sex saying sex slave. work is bad. It's. Uh, it's fine. I. I don't. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you gotta start. You gotta pick up a vice, and if it's not gonna be mail order brides, it's, it's alcohol. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, but how long could you... Oh, you should get your blood work done, because I got my blood work done, and they were worried Is about my cholesterol. Is it bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, if you don't fix this in three months, you're going to need to go on pills. <laughs> oh, no. My blood would kill a small animal. Well, yeah, so get it checked out. Well, I, They're going to give me bad news. <laughs> yeah, but you have insurance for six more months, so the bad news can get taken <sighs> care of, whereas if you wait, you're fucked. <laughs> That's true. I would highly recommend it, because they... I'm usually fine, but eight months of quarantine has destroyed my body. <laughs> and they're just like, if your cholesterol keeps going up, you're going to die. And I'm like, hmm. I have a theory, and there's not a, there's zero possibility it's true, that I have trained my body into <laughs> being very good at dealing with the Absolutely. crap that I ingest. <laughs> False. <laughs> no, no, no. My liver is, is like tanned leather, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> yes, because tan leather notoriously filters very well. <laughs> it's hardy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and definitely does not. My react. liver looks like John Brown's face. <laughs> you yes, your liver is. Um, oh God damn it! Uh, fuck. Liver, I hardly know her. Uh, I just bought her. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, the guy from every. The face of Bo. Uh, no, mm-hmm. he's Clint Eastwood. He's mm-hmm. 95. Your liver looks like Clint Eastwood's face. Yeah, but in uh, in one of the cowboy movies. No. It's wearing a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's when you drink tequila. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I guess my face looks like, or my liver looks like, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess probably Bobby Sands toward the end. He went on a hunger strike and died. What did he hunger strike for? Uh, he insisted that he be treated as a POW instead of a criminal because he was part of the IRA. And he was saying that, like, we're not criminals in your country. We're from another country fighting you. Oh. And Margaret Thatcher was like, yeah, starve yourself. I'm cool with that. <laughs> and then they died. And then she was like, good. <laughs> yep. He, Nothing uh, I think he, he was a member of parliament, Bobby Sands. No fucking. I think he won Irish from prison. or? Well, British because he had to be. Oh. And then he there's the there's a thing where Sinn Fein the uh, the cool party that is not wank involved with the IRA uh, they will win seats in Northern Ireland and refuse to take them because they say we why would we be in the British Parliament we're not Britain <laughs> nice yeah um, Sinn Fein's cool there was a thing uh, a man has contacted me about getting an animated intro for the podcast ooh uh, for so I told him I showed him Ijib the raccoon. And I told him, look I want up. it to be Ijib, like uh, ruining something. I told him look up the IRA, and then just anything that's affiliated with the IRA is fair game. <laughs> and he's like, all right. And he sent me like a brief sketch of it, and it's just as 
ridiculous as a free animation you think <laughs> would be it is pixely it looks like mario it's great <laughs> <laughs> like old mario by the way Fuck, yeah he said let's make a he's, video game where you play as a jib hey, uh you just, just kill british people. goblin <laughs> go, goblin fish and british blood oh d- did i ever tell you about the time i bought he from was a member of parliament he's so fucking badass what bobby sands I, I think bought... he ran for parliament from prison as he was on a hunger strike. So when I was younger, I bought a video game called 301 Games. Did it have It was all a of video them. game that had th- was had 301 separate games in it. It had four games <laughs> where they changed the skins 300 times <laughs> <laughs> and gave it a different name. You could have just called it four games no because they wanted dumbasses like me <laughs> like 301 to buy it and be like well one of them's got to be good and they're all bad I, yeah that sounds about i'm right. like literally i was playing through it i was like one of these has to be a rip up of galaga and then it's worth the four dollars i spent <laughs> and no <laughs> was it one of those plug and play things no but those are badass those are, i had one that was spongebob's face yeah everybody did yeah it was a good game too and your sister probably sat on it, by the way. I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you had a sister when I said that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a real person. <laughs> whose face came into my mind when you said my sister. <laughs> uh, uh, sir, bike's still coming over? <laughs> he's here. You can't hear him? Yeah, is he trying to fuck my sister again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's ask him. <laughs> to be clear, is he trying again? He didn't fuck my sister. <laughs> that you know of, wink. I mean, yeah, that I know. I don't know. <laughs> he was only at my house the one time, but <laughs> he was wearing my sweater. Which would have just have been a wild. <laughs> Real? Yeah. Yep. You ever you ever watching porn and then it turns out one of them has the name of your family members and you're like, well, can't. I never watch anything but compilation videos where I never catch their name. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the height of excess <laughs> I'm okay I don't want a full sexual experience I just want you just come shot come shot come shot <laughs> um, by the way anybody listening uh, who knows good 4k porn sites because that's hooked up to my computer let me know I got a 4k TV now. anybody listening that knows about some some fucked up stuff <laughs> <laughs> no just 4k porn sites <laughs> no 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 for me oh okay <laughs> just uh... you heard the last episode <laughs> Anything that would scare your parents at the near, mere name. Like, furry, yeah. but darker. <laughs> Scaly. Like, try, try and explain bronies to your parents. That kind of shit. Uh, bronies aren't inherently sexual, but aren't they, though? Mm-hmm. I'd fuck a horse, but I wouldn't fuck a My Little Pony horse. Jeez, that's where I draw the line. Would you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't fuck <laughs> a horse. I wouldn't get my asshole destroyed by a horse. It, why does why is it whenever this is a very weird hill to die? <laughs> why is it that whenever it's talked of about fucking horses, wait, wait, people wait, assume the horse it? is gonna fuck you? As Jerry Seinfeld, please. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal? When every time I talk about fucking a horse, this? they think I want the horse to fuck me. No, I want to fuck a horse. Oh, Elaine, my rectum's been perforated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Elaine, <laughs> he didn't have anything to do with hands. <laughs> you know, Mister Hands, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where it looks like somebody I've never popped seen a that. balloon full of blood. Uh, really? Is that what happens in that? It's... I thought maybe he successfully got fucked by a horse. No, he died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, pour one out for a real one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go out, that's the way to go out. Is it? No, <laughs> but if, if I've learned anything from watching Mr. Hands and reading some of the comments, it's don't fuck a horse, fuck a pony. Anyway, <laughs> that's the midget porn of horses. <laughs> that's weird for two reasons. Uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, if <laughs> I can't believe you're considering this, I don't know. He's like the Peter Dinklage of ponies. I just want... <laughs> what? Who would be the Peter Dinklage of ponies? Whatever that. And a very sexy horse. <laughs> Oh, I was going just famous. <laughs> so, what? like, you go backstage after seeing Barnum and Bailey, and instead of talking to the performers, you say you go up to, to a pony and, and like, like hey. and like push your hair behind your ear and uh, you're like, let me get that for you. And you, <laughs> you oh, yeah, push yeah. the bag behind its ear, <laughs> flirting <laughs> with a horse. <laughs> you just you, you walk a- up with two drinks, like. 
Why the long face? <laughs> I'm sure you get that a lot. I'm Kellen. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Horse openers. <laughs> hey, baby, let me buy you a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you into autoerotic asphyxiation? Because uh, I've got a different definition of hung like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, are you into autoerotic asphyxiation? Because you look a little horse. Because <laughs> it's both a pony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a little horse in you? Because I'd like to. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw that guy out there riding you. That's it. <laughs> I'm Kellen. <Kelly. laughs> uh, Jackie's pretty short. I bet he can't satisfy you. I, uh... I can. I'm full size. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a big size man. I want a little sized horse. <laughs> I'm a large man. Do a small horse. Probably weigh about the same. <laughs> I use. I use wanna mane and tail shampoo. I don't know if you want to get in the back of my four by four and see where the night takes us. <laughs> <laughs> Just a horse strapped to the floor. <laughs> I've got some uh, some fuzzy. <laughs> I've got some fuzzy horseshoes. If you want to, yeah. <laughs> just nagging a horse. Why don't you clean yourself up a little bit? <laughs> why, why don't you uh, scrape that uh, that road mud off your hooves and <laughs> come meet me in the fancy stable, <laughs> the one that's heated. <laughs> Oh, you got a little carrot in your teeth. <coughs> <laughs> no, you didn't get it, but my name's Calvin. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, what, 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 what lines would get a horse to have sex with me? <laughs> we could do other barnyard animals. See, I, I told you folks, I know you like it nasty. <laughs> hey, babe, and it's a pig. <laughs> uh, <I th> <laughs> you want to uh move this back to my place <laughs> how about you and me go uck and you can fill in the rest and it's a duck <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, my uncle, used, when something went wrong, he used to say, well, fuck a duck. And, uh, that always stuck with you. He never gave me bad advice before. <laughs> that uncle also set up my first 401k. He's a very smart man. Yeah. I, 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 that's just, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I got money. Oh, my God. <laughs> Walking up to a cow at a bar and being like, can I get a white Russian? I'm kidding. How you doing? <laughs> if I, I so if I were to flirt with animals, I would be very cheesy. Apparently. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not gonna just go and be like, "Hey, how's the weather?" You want a fuck a horse here? <laughs> not a freak. Uh, uh, what other, what other of... barnyard animals exist? Yeah. Um, I would say a dog, but I don't want to go down that one. You can fuck a horse. You can make jokes about fucking a horse, but don't make jokes about fucking a dog. What? I don't know. That's man. a line for you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, oh. A lot of disappointed furries in the comments of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pretty hot chick. <laughs> and it's, and it's a, that's pedophilia. <laughs> you go, hey, listen. You fuck a rooster all you want. Don't fuck a chick. What? Oh, well, yeah. If you want to fuck a rooster's wife, say cluck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should make a cock pun. I think it would be too easy, and I think cock. we have respect for ourselves. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, cock a doodle doo, little hen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh. Um, it's uh, something about a sheep taking its sweater off. <laughs> <laughs> I would use. <coughs> I bad girl. Um. <laughs> you know why? I'm allergic to latex. I can only use sheepskin cuts. So I'm going to need to skin you because that horse over there is into me. <laughs> and I don't want to be the guy who fucked a monkey and got AIDS. So. so I don't know what that horse has, but he looks exciting, so I'm sure it's something. Hmm. Did you ever see the uh, video of uh, two horses were about to mate, and then the female horse 
kicked the male horse right in just the perfect spot of the temple and fucking killed it. <laughs> it's a wild video because that horse is like hard as a rock and then it gets killed and is still hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's impressive, dude. I wanted to make jokes about flirting with animals and you're taking it to real horse sex. And I would, you're the nasty one. Well, I'm normal. <laughs> I want to, I want to talk about what line I would use to get a horse in the sack. Fine. We'll do wolves. Or and something. you're, and you want to talk about the time, uh, the time my bro, that horse <laughs> died before he could get some strange. Um, Hey, uh, I'm 24. So they just put me out to stud. <laughs> the horse is like that's super old for a horse this is weird <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna I'll just come out and say it do you wanna go to my room nay <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, tell, I'm telling you I'm loaded no bull <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> just like leaning on a bar and playing with a goat's horns like it's just, they're so shiny <laughs> <laughs> uh I just that, watched... that works. If, that's, if I was going to fuck the devil, I could do that. <laughs> I just watched Catch Me and you, If You Can, so I'm not imagining a, a, a full-size bull on the, <coughs> like just trying to ignore to... you, drinking at a bar, and you <laughs> lean over and it's like, did you drop this? And the necklace falls <laughs> out of the hand. <laughs> Son, Which, thing by the is, way, if you're going to fuck a bull, you got to be smart about it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my media obsession for the week it, by the way, it's just bits. My, I, mean, <laughs> I think I said that at the top. It's just bits. Kill the government, but not like they did. Oh, yeah. Um, but my medium session for the week is Catch Me If You Can. Nobody good, told me it was that movie. good of a movie. Oh, yeah, it's Holy really good. Holy shit, like 9.5 out of 10. Damn. F- the fucking knock, knock. Well, I, knock, knock. Who's there? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was watching it with stretching, so I missed little bits. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Tom Hanks being an asshole is <laughs> yeah. fun. I I remember the the fucking how'd you pass the Louisiana bar? I that's, that's done. <laughs> no no no. He was, uh, well that was a fucking awesome reveal. Yeah. And then because dude, the genius if you passed in two weeks the Louisiana yeah, bar. Yeah, he's like that guy that uh, ran the trains. Did I, I talk about that on the mic? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you didn't. But hang on, okay. just like <laughs> the scene where Tom Hanks is like, how'd you pass the bar? I'm not gonna. Uh, I can't, I'm going to jail for a long time, man. What's it matter? And then uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was like, give me half of your Claire and I'll tell you. Tom Hanks just <laughs> eats it all in one bite. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Their rapport is, is why the movie's It's good. pretty great. And then he it unofficially adopts him. And then he's happily ever after is a fucking millionaire the rest of his life, by the way. He's still alive, I think. He's a millionaire because he sold like the most secure – he made and then sold the most secure type of checks to major banks. And he's like, worth a million dollars. And Tom Hanks is just like, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. It's <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. That dude has It's the bad that he became a cop, life. by the way. No. I don't like that. He should have continued. No, the FBI – well, he got caught, I, so – because he, he can. Yeah, but no, but that dude, he won life. Like, he got oh, away with no, yeah, he got, with he, Yeah, he, he did. He How did, long he got was away he in jail? Like, 18 months? I don't know. He, he was briefly dying in a French prison, but, you know. Yeah, that sucked for a week, and then he's... <laughs> you un- know, I've, I've gone on horse tours in France and ended up in a similar <laughs> situation, so... Yeah, he worked for fucking... He worked for the FBI for, like, three years before he figured out, like, oh, I'm better than all these people. i just going to go sell this to the bank. And then he sold it to the bank, and he's like... Okay, well, I'm a millionaire now. I'm just going to keep working at the FBI. And every day he walks into the office and somebody's like, fucking, you have to work harder. And he's like, fuck you, you <laughs> piece of shit. And spits in their mouth. And they're just like, well, we're not going to fire you because you're the best. So I'm going to forge a picture of me fucking your wife. <laughs> by <laughs> fucking your wife. And it's going to be so good, you're not even going to know if I did or didn't. <laughs> It's going to have a uh, fucking today's <laughs> newspaper and the time and the newspaper and the time is going to be the exact time you two got married. <laughs> I'm not going to fuck your wife, but I might. And whether or not I do, when you get into bed tonight, you're going to smell me. <laughs> and you're going to think it's going to smell said, like, hey, I've had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> I have a long face. <laughs> I swear to fucking God, if another weirdo comes up to me in this bar and asks me why I have a long face, <laughs> I'm going to fucking go ape shit. No, you, you'll kick him, horse kick him in the back no, of the head. No, motherfucker, <laughs> stop with the stereotypes. I deal with this constantly, okay? Just I just crying. want a goddamn drink. <laughs> <laughs> Tears I'm... take a real long time to get down to my horse nose. And that horse was Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> <laughs> 
She doesn't look that bad. <laughs> she does have a long face. Yeah, because everyone's so mean. <laughs> you ever hear uh, the horse walks into a bar, bartender goes, why the long face? And the horse says, my alcoholism is destroying my family. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> You wanted to talk about an autistic man who steals trains? I can't remember if he was autistic, so since um, I'm a reporter, I don't hold me to that. Well, Probably he was. going to take a guess here. <laughs> yeah, he had something going on. But all he wanted to do was drive trains and buses, so he would jack trains and buses and then just drive the routes better than the drivers did. And they put him in jail instead of giving him a job. Which is just the worst. I <laughs> uh, Homework this week, steal a bus. If you're really good at stealing. Well, you know what? Nope. Everybody Especially steal a bus. Especially if you're bad. Steal a bus. Do not let the people off. <laughs> Go somewhere. A farm. Keep it over 60. <laughs> <laughs> listen, if you're a bus driver listening to this, I put a bomb on your oh bus. Oh, my God. If you go under 60, everyone will die. Where's Keanu? He's under the bus fucking with your fuel. You're boned, buddy. <laughs> Do you think that the uh, speed was actually made about that guy? Because, <laughs> because he was so And they e- turned him into Dennis Hopper? Because he was so efficient that <laughs> he never went under 60, but he got everybody there. Steal a bus and jump it over an unfinished freeway. That's my suggestion. And then continue to go 60 and everything's fine. And then, like, fuck Sandra Bullock, I guess? Does he get lied? They make out Aren't at the there end. there three Speed movies, by the way? Three? I know of two. Okay, two. Whatever. Wasn't the second Speed one Speed, but boat? on a boat. Yep. Yeah. Speed 2, Cruise Control. <laughs> <laughs> was that really the... Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> God. And I think it was... I think it literally was just, like, Speed, but on a boat. Speed wasn't good enough to have a... It's a pretty good movie. <laughs> It's... I like speed a lot. <laughs> I like the look that uh, the um, that the reporter from the Aaron Sorkin show. Ooh, I'm getting <laughs> in the weeds. <laughs> Jeff Daniels. When Jeff Daniels realizes that he's in a house with a bomb and he just looks at the camera all set. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> and dies. That's not Silence of the Lambs, is it? I haven't seen Silence of the Lambs. Really? I know, right? For a guy who fucks horses, you'd think I would have seen it by now. <laughs> You can't write. That's in what 40 you do Fs. on a horse's dick. It's just other people's. I couldn't get my mouth around a horse's dick unless you're it's a, a quitter. <laughs> 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 yeah, you see those TikToks. Couldn't go, blow a black guy. Couldn't blow a horse. <laughs> Anyways, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, silence. Of the, uh, I don't. I don't know why Tumblr people liked Hannibal so much. But they sure did. Hannibal Burris, I hope? No, the show Hannibal. Oh, I thought you... Oh, they like Hannibal as a person? <laughs> no, they don't... No, I think they just were very interested in seeing uh, Hugh Dancy and Mads Mikkelsen flirt about eating each other? <laughs> I think that's what happened on that show. A guy did cut his face off. Did it? Did they do the face on a face? Leather face? I don't think they did a face on a face. They No, he just, like, cut the bottom of his face off, and he was all drugged up, so he was, like, talking, but the bottom of his face was all off. Ooh, that's, like, the worst wisdom teeth video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's fucked up. I don't know why people uh, like it. And, I, of course, I had to look up the gruesome shit on YouTube, because I want to wa- see it. Instead of watching I'm banned it. from Pornhub. I had to find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nasty get, episode. Can you get banned from Pornhub? I, probably. They're woke now. No, but... You can get hey, like if you say the N word on any video that's not a race play video specifically, they'll ban you. No fucking. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Way. That's, I made that up. <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny. I like that porn is trying to be PC. It's like no, if anything's gonna be a fucking cesspool, let it be Pornhub. <laughs> and it's not. It's usually pretty good comment section. It, it is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's I. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's just funny when like streamers who are like fucking themselves will stop and be like. Oh, thank you for subscribing. And then be like, now back huh? to this weird dildo. <laughs> Why the long face? Uh, what's the one site that you can buy those aggressive dildos on? Bad Dragon. Right? Bad Dragon, yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, I was speaking to a friend earlier, and I found that they are named. What? The dildos have names. Hmm? Uh, the, like, the creature that the dildo supposedly belongs to hmm. is a character. Believe the horse is named Chance. I gotta go to a furry convention. The Ripper, just with, like Zinga. popcorn. <laughs> just be like, oh, like, furries are cool because there are such a thing as Nazi furries, and other furries hate them, so that's cool. Okay. Nazi furries. 
<laughs> yeah, they dress up as German shepherds and they have the fucking red armband with the swastika on it. I, I feel like... And that... like, like Goebbels wouldn't have gassed them <laughs> fucking immediately. <laughs> hey, a mouth is a mouth. No, you see, that's the gas chamber. That's, you're going in now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like oh how Dave God, Rubin thinks like... they won't kill him. Who? Dave Rubin. The He's, uh, of the Rubin? It's a good sandwich. I don't think it's spelled that way. He's part of the intellectual dark web, which is white men who are unhappy they can't say the N-word without being yelled at. That's intellectual. Um, but right he's there. gay. <laughs> oh. He's the last classical liberal, and they will fucking hang him if they win. Don't trust Dennis. Oh, whatever. Do what you want, Dave Rubin. You're a fucking... No, nice. they got to keep the one gay guy and one black guy around so they can keep saying, like, look, we're not... Yeah, but they killed their black guy with coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Herman Cain? No, no. He's a Republican that ran for president a couple times. He got coronavirus and died. Damn. And then Trump didn't fucking die. Yeah, bullshit. Frustrating. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? Yeah. And also, I'm glad he's... that we didn't do the Stephen Crowder thing. What's that? Which is when you don't make it big as a comedian, so you just become a right-wing talk show host. Ooh, pass. If Fox offered me a job, I would have them listen to a few episodes of this podcast and be like, you still want to give me a job? <laughs> Oh, I, I would take it, and I would radicalize the viewers of Fox. Well, after, like, three words, they'd be like, ah, we made a mistake. No, no, I, you. no I wouldn't uh, say do communism. I would say, you know what the fucking liberals don't want? They don't want you to form a fucking union. <laughs> nice. You yeah, know, you, so you got to get out there, and you got to use your labor power to defeat the lizards, which I sort of believe. Are Republicans pro or anti-union? Anti? No fucking way. No. I mean, the My give, mom's a any given Republican. No, oh, like a person that's like a, a vote, Republican voter. I assume it varies. I thought Republicans used to be like the <laughs> big reason people were Republicans is because they were pro union. I thought that used to be a thing. Maybe. I mean, the Democrats certainly don't like them enough. But how are? How I don't think union... they like unions because they think of unions as socialism for and it's pussy shit. Oh is what you know the the line would be. I think. Value they like to quote Big Bill Haywood, who said that if one man has a dollar he didn't earn, someone else worked for a dollar they didn't get, and they think that applies to health care. Big Bill Haywood was a socialist who was saying that about capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know what that applies to? Jeff fucking Bezos. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, Elon Musk. Congratulations, business daddy. Give me your money, motherfucker. <laughs> I uh, Big props to Elon Musk for being now the richest man in the world. You calling Elon Musk daddy is a bigger sin than me <laughs> saying cummies. Oh, well, uh, in the baby voice. Sorry. How about this? I'll blow him in space if he asks. Anyways. <laughs> I know you will. I know you will. I'd blow Elon for a Tesla. Oh, hands down. I, I don't want to tell... Yeah, I would I would give anyone a blowjob if I got a good enough thing for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Elon Musk, even the... Okay. First of all, good chances... Bl- good chances Dick is very small. Like... Because <laughs> he's white? No, because I feel like that's... He's compensating for something. And the money didn't do it, and the Twitter fame didn't do it for him. (laughs) And I think it's because of his deep psychological pain of having... uh, Not He doesn't even have a dick. He has a prosthetic made of emeralds, is what I have decided. I like how Jeff Bezos made like $50 billion during the pandemic, and Elon Musk was like, not enough, buddy. Not enough. (laughs) He really leapfrogged Bezos. Yeah, which is wild, because... Amazon is a, a service we use every fucking day. That yeah. so I get it. Everybody uses Amazon all the time, especially during a pandemic. I get why Bezos is the richest. The fuck does Elon Musk have? I the uh, non-union workers, I guess. I, he doesn't act. <laughs> does he have non-union workers? I thought he. Yeah, no, and he threatened them when they wanted to unionize. So, oh, damn, damn, dude. You were a cool space guy a second ago. Why'd you have to do that? It's, I'll still support not, you, but I'm sad just about it. like Chris Hadfield or something. No, because he's making uh, fly fly cars that I like. <laughs> and if he's anybody... <laughs> a different guy no, is. Cause... And then Elon puts it on a rocket and goes, look, I did it. You're a pedophile. <laughs> he launched a car into space. You're telling me that's not cool? Tell me that's not cool. I'm going to fucking launch a car into him. <laughs> I'm going to... Well, there's, 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 Flint doesn't have clean water. There's people in cages. Launch a car at an ice facility and I'll be impressed. <laughs> what if he does? Will, will you just turn around everything? Else? I'll be like, the, the, good good on that one, Elon. Thank you. <laughs> Do it again. Okay, but, uh, God, I want fast food so bad. This is the cholesterol. Speaking. But the problem is you got to catch it. <laughs> That's how you're hitting on a cheetah at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, baby. I hear hey, uh, oh, we're out of barnyard animals now. Now it's just animals. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Going up to a cheer like, hey, uh, I've been called pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will not immediately, and you can go get that gazelle. <laughs> hey, baby, what's in that trunk? To an elephant. <laughs> What that trunk do though? <laughs> what that trunk do? I bet it'll rip your dick off. Yeah. I yeah, but like if you, if a what if there was a small elephant? I bet the Pick trunk. The elephant. No, but smaller, so like the trunk was good jerk off size. How big is a pygmy elephant? And elephants are pretty smart, so I think you could you could work out a language with it, and it they, would be consensual. They are pretty... all right, so it's not it's not weird <laughs> what I'm about to do. All right, clearly you're an elephant furry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to be an elephant. I want an elephant to jerk me off. Is there? Well, okay, so that's your type then. You need to find a well. You don't need to find a girl elephant furry. You just <laughs> well, the the furry? body part that I'm interested in is the trunk. So it can it doesn't matter. Oh. Everybody's got a trunk, baby. Mm. You remember the? <laughs> <laughs> you remember those old pictures that were like in uh, ge- geology, uh, fucking some bullshit National textbook. Geographic. Sure, something like that, where somebody got painted to look exactly like an elephant or whatever. Yeah, they were naked. It was crazy. Just find one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to find one of those combinations of three people that are body painted to look like an elephant and pretend that that hand is an elephant's trunk. And you're having a three-way, too. So four-way, actually. I'm not really touching the other ones, though, because this is really just trunk-based. Just about the trunk. Just trunk-based, yeah. Because I, t- I don't appreciate jerk, their tails. Like, <laughs> is it a deal? Bro- I'm, not, I, I'm not sexually attracted to elephant tails, okay? That's what's... what's <laughs> It's hard to understand about that. I want to fuck the front, not the back of an elephant. <laughs> it's off the rails, man. I just... <laughs> was... My small. favorite part in Tarzan is when you see the elephant's feet under the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, if this also gets a bunch of views, then we... <laughs> then I, I, un... I just got to be weird. Uh, we've unfortunately found our, <laughs> our niche. <laughs> <laughs> Someone... Well, no, it's not even Tarzan. People are thirsty for George of the Jungle, so never mind. Not George of the Jungle. Yeah. Really? Bren- yeah. Well, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser in George of the Jungle. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is shredded. Yeah, what the fuck? He Camille Nanjiani did it. It was wild. Before- yeah, did you see that picture of Camille Nanjiani, like, shredded. clearly on steroids, though? Yeah, whatever. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Shit. <laughs> but he's not an Olympic athlete. I don't give a shit if he's on steroids. I'm not, I'm not mad at him for doing steroids. <laughs> yeah. I will, if I ever get enough money to do steroids, I'll fucking do steroids too. I want to see the new version of the big sick where he just punches the fuck out of her. <laughs> That's uh, her illness, is that <laughs> roided up Kumail Nanjani just jacked her in the face. <laughs> she might not pull out. Of, that's why her parents are initially mad. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Not that they broke Kumail up. Kumail Nanjani got really strong and pushed her girl. Why, that's not fucking Ray Romano, dumbass. Because initially in the movie, her parents were mad because they broke up. So when he came back, they were like, no. What are you doing? Yeah. But now it's <laughs> he just decked her. <laughs> Fucking... And this isn't about spousal abuse. It's about spousal abuse when taking steroids. So we're not being bad people. Right. Uh, <laughs> Chris Benoit did nothing wrong. Uh, you, know, you don't know who Chris Benoit is? The inventor of the Benoit balls? No, it's not spelled like that. He was a, a wrestler that did a lot of steroids and then killed his wife. And kid. I think he killed his kid, too. Well, it's certainly funnier. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, how old was the kid? I don't know. How old? There's... I don't know. (laughs) I I vaguely know the Chris Benoit story. Ah, damn. I had old used wrestling video games after he had killed a family that he was still in, and I played as him a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Was he stronger against female characters? (laughs) (laughs) I wonder, did they let you do that? <laughs> I wonder if they, God, if they let, because you could set up your own matches in the WWE yeah, games. Yeah, you could do male can versus you, female. You, you totally could. They, there had to be absolute psychos <laughs> just setting up fights between their custom character and a female wrestler. <laughs> well, and just, you, could, you could also do tag team versus one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So no. just two gigantic dudes. I, did, I would play as Rey Mysterio, who is the short guy, the short um, Matador guy. Mm-hmm. Not Matador asshole luchador and uh and then two big guys <laughs> and i would just let the other guy beat up on the other big guy and then i would do flips and shit on his head then eddie guerrero died i think i don't know i only remember so there was a crazy person in my neighborhood pretty much who's like you know one of those people where you look back and it's like oh my god they're still wearing the monster hat 10 years later crazy <laughs> those people where they are in life 
One of them. No, I don't talk to anyone from high school. Uh, Facebook exists. So I saw one of them on Facebook, and I was like, you're exactly where I expected you to be in life. <laughs> uh, and it was neat because he has, like, four kids. <laughs> oh, good for him. And he's not a union laborer, which four kids on a union salary, fine. You could do if, it. If you're a pipe People fitter, did. great A, good. No no disrespect to pipe if you're if, you, if you're fitting pipe, you can afford to be laying pipe. Exactly. Without sheepskin. Yeah, and that's why... Um, socialism. <laughs> Free sheepskin for all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think, uh, uh... Yeah, I'm I'm running out of steam. I'm too hungover for this. I was going to talk about wrestling, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Enough. This isn't a Ryan Lang TM <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this, when, when we were in college at one point, someone was asking about professional wrestling, which I don't know a lot about either, but she was asking Ryan about it or something. And I go, just check out Chris Benoit. You'll like him. <laughs> and then we didn't tell her what he did. <laughs> her, Chris Benoit? Sure. I think of Chris Jericho. Dude, I have no fucking idea. I know nothing about WWE except for The Rock used to be on it, and he's been doing way better since he left. Yeah. Well, don't Ballers, kill your wife. Baller season one, phenomenal. Every other season, hot garbage. <laughs> I don't like The Rock because he's about getting up early and achieving things. And I'd like to it. argue that if you get up at 11 and stay up just for the same amount of time, you can achieve just as much. So, don't... Yeah, but I don't... I'm not going to do that. I, like, I don't I don't like that his brand is oh, about Oh, so you don't like the achieving thing. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm a... I'm much more of a Jimmy Buffett guy if Jimmy Buffett took himself seriously. I feel like podcasts are the opposite of achieving things. It's like, do, did you get better yeah, at Yeah, could I skill? marshal any of my creativity into creating a real product? No, I'm just going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it live as we're going, but that's it. That's Yeah, no, it's, it's all going to be in the moment. And it's going to be a lot of pickup lines for animals. Sorry. <laughs> and you, don't want been... me to, you don't want me to turn this into a project. And it has been working way better than it should be. It's <laughs> crazy. It's not doing well, but it's way better than it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, link tr.ee forward slash it's just bits uh, at the Connor Ford at Kellen underscore Frank on Twitter. Um, tell all your friends about us and then don't Come talk to us. <laughs> lemonparty.org <laughs> yeah um at mrhands.gov <laughs> xnnx at xnxx.com which i learned is pornhub but they don't have as stringent laws about age of consent and something else that was hilarious what <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't need to like upload a photo id if you upload a video which you do on pornhub or something oh. like that so it's like <laughs> she's 18 and xnxx is just like yeah <laughs> yeah, I ain't checking ID, but they're bouncing them with no problem. Teleprompter. Twitter's fun I'm for winning. telling me things. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm winning. winning. Rich kid asshole, asshole. treat me like a villain. Don't be mad because well, we I'm go doing evil and you do it. Ha ha, I'm kidding. We're not going out on a song. Cause... No, he's yeah. trying to get me to. You can fucking edit it. Yeah. Bye. I think we'll get taken down if you do.